Okay guys, so before we check out of this hotel, I just wanted to go over some things uh, for your benefit if you ever stay in Japan or at a hotel in Japan. If you're an American or used to the Western culture, you know that pools at hotels are included in your stay. Well, most of the time in Japan, you need to ask, ask the right questions to make sure that you bring enough money and that you're accommodated and that you choose the correct hotel for your liking. So the first question to ask. So you need to ask if they have a pool. So when you say pool, it could mean a number of things in Japan, but you need to be specific and ask about if it's like a pool that you can swim in for swimming activities. Pool in Japan could mean onsen. So onsen is like a hot spring and there's no, and you're pretty much nude, okay? If the pool will be open while you're staying at the hotel because you could check in super early or super late and the pool might be closed. So this hotel, the Ala Vila, the Nico Ala Vila, the pool opens at three and it closes by eight o'clock. We arrived late here, so we didn't get to enjoy the pool at three. I think we started maybe at five or six o'clock and that was enough time. You should ask about the restaurants, what time the restaurant closes because if you have kids like I do and you wanna enjoy the pool, you need to make sure that you're managing your time well enough so that the kids can enjoy the pool and then that you can make it to the restaurant in time. For us, we we really wanted the kids to enjoy the pool so we decided to not do the restaurant and just have or take in rather from outside of the facility. Next. Ask about the tattoo policy. Most hotels in Japan, they will not allow you to swim if you have tattoos. And if you have tattoos, you can swim only if you cover them. So you need to wear a full on cover up. If you have one tiny, small tattoo on your ankle, you need to wear a full on bodysuit like you're a scuba diver just to swim in the pool. The reason for that is tattoos are shunned upon in Japan. Um, it's look if you have a tattoo, it's more like you're in a mafia. <laughs> so definitely check. Okay, so another thing to ask about in the with the pools is how much it costs to swim because some pools are not included in your stay. For this hotel, it was about ten dollars and sixty cents to swim, but luckily we had a coupon to swim for free, so the pool was free for our family and kids five and below are also free. So. If your kid is over five at this particular hotel, you would have had to pay 500 yen, but we said our kids were five and four, so they were free. Another big thing in Japan are swimming caps. Some of the people who were swimming in the pool were using swim caps, but this, but the pool that we were using here at this pool here, you didn't need a swim cap, but that is something to ask when booking a hotel because you just might need to buy or bring a swimming cap to cover your hair. The thing about swim caps in Japan, the swimming caps in Japan basically cover your hair, but they don't stop your hair from being wet. But the swim caps that we're used to in America, they they allow your hair to stay dry. If you order on Amazon, you will not be able to find a swimming cap in Japan that will allow your hair to stay dry, by the way. Another big question to ask when booking a hotel and you're thinking about swimming in Japan, if it's kid friendly, because some hotels like the collective, I don't know if it's kid friendly or not, it depends on the level of hotel that you're staying at, so that would be a great question to ask if kids are allowed because it might be like a low key business club member only hotel. But before coming to Japan, I hope that these questions might help you pick the right hotel for your stay. I really enjoyed this hotel. We don't have any tattoos, me and my husband, so that wasn't a problem for us. And another good thing about this hotel is if you come in December, they do have a heated pool. They don't have a jacuzzi, but the pool was like a jacuzzi, meaning they had the massage area on one side of the pool, they had jet streams on the other side of the pool, and the jet streams made you feel like the entire pool was a big jacuzzi. The pool was semi-heated. I wouldn't say it was as warm as a jacuzzi could be, um, but it was warm enough for it to be December after Christmas. Today is, today is December 29th, and the pool was perfect for us for that. Um, this this pool was called the Relaxation Center and they also had a sauna that you could stay in in five minute increments. Because it was so hot, I think I lasted about two minutes only. So yeah, 